Now, we did mention it did get very rowdy earlier tonight. NBC Force Patrick Healy is where protesters stormed inside a Walmart on Crenshaw. Patrick. Colleen, uh, during the evening, we did see one person loaded into an ambulance, but so far as we know, there were no serious injuries. The marchers went up and down Crenshaw, a stretch of more than 20 blocks. There were spasms of violence, but for the most part, the largest group of the demonstrators were peaceful. There were these splinter groups, however, that would split off, that would dash to the side into buildings. One of the places they went was this Walmart. This evening, hundreds took to Crenshaw Boulevard to vent their anger over the George Zimmerman verdict, most causing no harm, but some groups damaged property and even attacked bystanders, including two individuals kicked and punched at a bus bench at Slauson. Later, groups headed south toward the Crenshaw Baldwin Hill Shopping Plaza, where more than a dozen, some pushing shopping carts, dashed inside the Walmart. We saw people stealing stuff. They, um, the officers grabbed two of the suspects. Some then entered the main mall. The, the sounds I was hearing were plants being thrown, like the potted plants being broken on the floor and all the different things that they were turning chairs, they were throwing down garbage cans, whatever that was movable in the mall, they were throw, turning them over. Along Crenshaw, windows were smashed, trash cans set ablaze. Eric Smith was working inside a Taco Bell. And there's some kids ran inside the, um, in my, my store and tried to beat somebody up for a phone. I just think that it's just sad. You know, I want justice too, but there's a way, there's different ways that we can go about it. You know, we, you know, we don't need to be out here fighting each other. We just need to figure out a different way to all come together as one. Early on, police were doing incremental block closures to separate the marchers from traffic. But as the evening went on toward nightfall, as some of the demonstrators became more aggressive, police changed their tactics and set up the skirmish lines to try to contain the demonstrators. Live on Crenshaw Boulevard, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. And we're expecting Mayor Garcetti along with Chief Charlie Beck to address the news media about the situation tonight. This is where it is going to happen, and as soon as it begins, we'll go there live. One of the things we want to point out that as we watch this group develop tonight, we kept seeing the same people causing a majority of the problems down there. This was one of those individuals. We've enhanced the video here so you can see which person we are talking about. News Chopper 4 caught him rallying the crowds, running into stores and jumping on cars and buses, as you see there.